On 16th of February, seven children injured by explosive device in Nigeria. The authorities of Kaduna State say at least seven children have been wounded after an explosive device they mistakenly picked from a farm detonated. The victims have been evacuated to a hospital in the city of Zaria. It's not clear how the explosive device found itself on the farm, but the state governor Nasser El Rufai has ordered detailed investigations. It's important to remind that on 14th February, a similar one involving an abandoned explosive device killed at least six children and wounded a number of others in the village of neighboring Zamfara state. The victims aged between 8 and 12 picked it up as they went to the outskirts of village to fetch corn stalks, commonly used as a source of fire for cooking in the community. Four of those killed were members of the same family. Zamfara State Commissioner for Internal Security Abu Bakar Dauran said the explosive device was likely left by security forces following recent operations against armed criminal gangs in the remote area. It's worth reminding, northwestern Nigeria is grappling with activities of gunmen who carry out deadly attacks on communities. The government has deployed thousands of troops there. Those wishing to hold a rally are required to adhere to the new law. At a meeting with the leadership of the General Prosecutor Office of the Republic of Kazakhstan, President of Kazakhstan, Kasim Jomar Tokayev, spoke about the new law on peaceful meetings. The President noted no one takes away from citizens a right to express their will, to express their critical opinion in relation to the authorities. Tokayev stressed that this is a constitutional right of citizens and it must be implemented in strict accordance with the law. President Press Secretary Barry Kuali on his Facebook page provided a fragment from the speech of the head of state. Since last year, a fundamental new law on peaceful meetings has been in effect in Kazakhstan, which established the notification nature of holding rallies instead of permitting nature that was in force earlier. In addition, places have been allocated for participants in peaceful assemblies, including protests in the central parts of large cities. This is a very serious step towards the democratization of our society. Those wishing to hold a meeting are obliged to adhere to the new law. The Kazakhstani was included in the Forbes Next 1000 list. 27-year-old Kazakh native Elizar Nurmagambetov teamed up with 66-year-old Amir Sanderji from Tanzania in 2019 to create Consilience, a software system that detects financial crimes such as money laundering and fraud as well as human trafficking. Criminal businesses disguised as business now only have a 10% chance of being detected, but financial institutions, law enforcement and government agencies use Consilience to detect risk transactions with its vast database of investigated subjects, including watch list information, corporate records and much more. Elizar is listed in the enterprise technology category and the site states that he is currently based in Cleveland, Ohio. News of Shemkent. Three departments of the Akimat of the city changed their names. At the extraordinary second session of the city Maslihat, the deputies voted with one voice for the decision to change the name of the three departments of Akimat of Shemkent city. Department of Energy, Housing and Communal was renamed into the Department of Energy and Infrastructure Development in connection with the expansion of the function of the Department for Construction and Preparation of Design Estimates for Engineering Communications of the city. The Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Management was renamed into the Department of Development of the Comfort of Urban Environment. The function of this department include the maintenance of parks, scores of irrigation systems, as well as facilities for irrigation of green spaces located in the city, protection of the environment and water protection zone. In connection with the implementation of the state program Tourism Industry 2019-2025 to attract tourists as well as to establish diplomatic work by by foreigners, the tourism department was renamed into the Department of Tourism and External Relations. The swimming season was unofficially opened in Shimkian. The kids are already swimming in the Koshkarata River. However, local authorities warn residents and guests of the city that swimming at this time is dangerous. It is important to notice that such news is increasingly coming out of Shimkian, as far as in the short metropolis that the weather is warm in contrast to other regions of Kazakhstan. The video was published on February 14 when the air temperature in the region reached 20 of Celsius. Moreover, the swimming season was opened in the Turkestan region. The locals took a dip in the Shardara Reservoir and enjoyed the warm spring weather. 
The fourth triplets of this year were born in Shamkian. The kids were checked out from the maternity hospital with their mother. The children are doing well. Our correspondent Yenlik Utsabaeva shared a joyful event together with the relatives of the triplets. In honor of the newborn babies, relatives arranged a lavish party. The young father admits that he didn't believe until the last moment that he would become a father of three boys at once. I feel great. We're very happy. I thank God for everything and wish all the Kazakh people the same happiness. The mother of the triplets was also congratulated by the doctors and the head of the health department. They were presented with gifts and certificates for a full checkup before the end of the year. Three boys, even three butters, were born at the term of 33 weeks of pregnancy. At the moment, the condition of the children and the mother is stable. The operation was carried out without difficulties. We are very happy that such a joyful event happened in our center. We are very proud of this. In the future, we will work as smoothly and provide good conditions for women in labor. And we will try our best to ensure that our babies are discharged healthy. Kids whose names are Begasil, Yerasil and Janasil feel great. The newborns have already gained weight. Doctors know that multiple pregnancies naturally are rare. This is the first case of triplets being born in 2021. It's worth noting that last year six triplets and more than 20 twins were born. Doctors hope to break the record again this year.